This is for Mark Wong. Um, the rendering technique that you're using is fine. Um, like your rendering is fine. The, what you're suffering on is a, a whole slew of different anatomy and perspective things. Um, the perspective isn't too bad, um, but you're not really using that perspective point. Because if you're using a perspective point, basically what's happening is this guy right here is your horizon line. So that means everything under here, you're, you need to basically look down on the character. Um, and, and actually the character's horizon line is down here. So th this is, this is the, the kind of issue going on with your, you have two different perspectives going on. Um, so you need to study a uh, perspective a little bit more and work on that. Um, the next thing is the pose, um, and the pose is awkward because of several diff different reasons. So if you're working on a, uh, using a man leaning up against something, and I'm going to draw, draw it from the side so, so you can kind of see. Um, so you've got a man leaning up against um, a wall here, and the wall is like this. So what you're doing is you're putting chest and then pelvis and then legs so he's actually leaning up like this and and honestly the that would be very uncomfortable and the body wouldn't really lean like that instead what you want to do is you want to lean the character up against the wall like so and the the legs and basically you want to push out the body so he's using He's using much more force on his legs, and he'd probably use a balancing leg too. So that's that's the, the, the first part of the issue that you're going on here. And the second issue that you have going on here is he's not against the wall. If you look at your character, here's your character, like so, and a character leaning against the wall would use the flat body. So this wall is actually facing directly towards you, so therefore it would be this one here. And the second thing is, if you look at your body here, so you've got your your arm coming down like so, and the other arm actually kind of almost perpendicular to the wall. And so if you try and do that with your body, your shoulder blade starts really giving you some issues. So your body isn't meant to do that. Um, so you need to, to work on that kind of point of perspective as well. Okay. And so in order to kind of fix this, what you would need to do is you would need to change the positioning of the arm. And, and this is why, you know, we use references. Um, having you physically see the the pose that you're looking for is going to get you more of what you want um, and then the other thing I would say right off the bat and I'm going to use red just to pop it all a little bit more here um, but the uh, the character himself is out of proportion so if you look at it here is you've got your neck and then you've got the rib cage probably coming something like this, and even with the armor, and you have to realize armor doesn't pop out as much. Um, so look at how how big the torso chest area is, how small the waist area is, like so. And then you can see you've got a little uh, a kind of a tinier head, and so you want to kind of push this a little bit more. So I think the arms coming out here would be longer, the, ch the head would be a little bit higher, um, and so that's, that's what's going to kind of help you out, okay? Um, and so those are the things that I would tell you to work on. Um, one, you know, f get your anatomy down so that it looks proper, and then two, 
figure out your pose. And and to figure out your pose, it's it's as simple as taking a delayed photo um, from a camera or or something like that, so that you get a sense of idea of how you're actually posing the character, or even have a friend take a picture. Um, and that's going to be what's going to kind of help you out. All right. I hope that helps a little bit. Hey, I wanted to thank everyone for subscribing to my patron, and if you haven't yet, check it out.